Welcome to Electron Line, and now our next reduction formula is the one where we add pi over 2, 90 degrees, and that happens to be a very common reduction formula, a very handy common reduction formula that uh, we'll use many, many different ways. So how do we work with that? How does the sine of theta plus pi over 2 become, what does it become? What does the cosine of pi over 2, uh, theta plus pi over 2 become? And what does the tangent of pi, of theta plus pi over 2 become? Wow, I'm really turning those things around. Okay, let's uh, see how we can do that graphically first so we can get a better understanding of it. First of all, when we have a unit circle where the radius is equal to 1 and we have an angle theta here in the first quadrant, we get the value xy here in the unit circle, which means that this value right here, this distance right here, is the y value which is equal to the sine of the angle theta. This distance right here, which is the x value of that point right there, that's equal to the cosine of theta. So now what happens when we add pi over 2 or 90 degrees to that angle? And I'm looking for my blue pen right here. Okay, so let's add 90 degrees. That puts us, puts us right over here. And here we have a new xy value on the unit circle. There we go. And what now, what is the y value equal to? Well, notice the y value has changed. It came from this to something much bigger right here. And so this would become the new y value, which is equal to the sine of theta plus pi over 2, or 90 degrees. And then this value right here, notice that this is now a shorter value for x compared to what it was before there. So the new x is equal to the cosine of theta plus pi over 2. Now, can we find a nice relationship? And the answer is yes. Notice that this is a right angle triangle, so is this. And actually, those two triangles are exactly the same. If you take this triangle right here and flip it over, make it look like that, then this right here becomes this value there, and this right here becomes this value down there, which means when we can now relate the sine and the cosine to those angles. So let's try that. So first of all, we have the sine of theta pi over 2, which is this right here. And notice that this is equal to this value right there. That means that the sine of theta plus pi over 2 must equal to the cosine of theta. There. And that's the relationship. So the sine of theta plus pi over 2 can be written as the cosine of theta. All right, what about the cosine of pi plus theta over 2? That's this value right here. In size, it's equal to this value right there because those two triangles have to be equal. But it's on the negative side, so it becomes the negative value of this angle right there. So this becomes the negative of the sine of theta. And now for the tangent, since it's the sine divided by the cosine, we can write this as the sine of theta plus pi over 2 divided by the cosine of theta plus pi over 2. And notice that the sine of theta plus pi over 2 right here becomes the cosine of theta. So this is equal to the cosine of theta. And the cosine of theta plus pi over 2 becomes the minus the sine of theta. And the cosine divided by the sine is the cotangent. And we have the negative sign in front of that, which means that the tangent of theta plus pi over 2 becomes the negative cotangent of theta. And so these are the three reduction equations that are obtained when we add pi over 2 to the angle. So in the case of the sine, if we add pi over 2, it becomes a cosine. In the case of the cosine, when we add pi over 2, it becomes a negative sine. In the case of the tangent, when we add pi over 2, we get the negative cotangent of the angle. And that's how we use those reduction formulas, especially in the case of pi over 2. On the next video, we're going to subtract pi over 2 and see what we get. We actually get different results when we subtract rather than we add pi over 2.